Hi there folks, Rich here. Hope you're doing very well today. So this is a follow-up and I suppose a reintroduction to Contact Template Assistant. There are some prerequisites that you'll need. We'll head over to Studio One Extensions and we can see that I've got Navigation Essentials installed. This is a script um, edited and developed by Lucas Rashidska. To get this, you'll need to head over to s1toolbox.com, head to Studio One Scripts, and you'll see a page called Navigation Essentials. You'll see a handy video on how to install this and what it's all about. Below that is a link saying sign up to my newsletter to download Navigation Essentials. Pop in your name and your email address, and then ask Lucas to send you the Studio One scripts by clicking this button here. We'll be focusing on the sets MIDI channels in ascending order. Once you've downloaded this, simply drag the downloaded file onto Studio One's interface and it will install on prompt. Once you've installed it, make sure that you restart Studio One by going to File, then Quit. One other prerequisite is that you'll need these instrument presets that I've created for contact. There'll be a link in the description to download these, and you simply need to drag them into this folder. Under your main Studio One folder, Presets, Native Instruments, Contact. And it should look exactly like this. It's numbered actually from 2 through to 16, with an instructions text file included, just in case you forget. What this actually does is nothing special at all. It's simply rerouted instrument effects presets with the appropriate amount of outputs assigned. To add your first one, select Add Contact. And assuming that we're creating a strings ensemble, I'll select Insert Contact 5. This will create 5. This enables me to put in my first and second violins, violas, cello, and the basses. Shift click them all and select Channels Ascending. If we look at the event inputs here, we can see that they're now named or numbered in the correct order. Open up Contact, and as we can see, with all of these orange keys highlighted, we can see that it's all technically the same instrument. We'll grab our sections. So in this case, we're selecting those violins, violas, cello and basses and simply dragging them into contact. We'll minimize those and pin that. Head down to the outputs and if you don't see it, go to this drop down here and select outputs. Don't worry about what's going on in the mixer here. This is just my default configuration and you don't need to worry about that. Head to presets and batch configuration, batch functions, and then the first option, clear output section and create a individual channel for each loaded instrument. We'll need to do a little bit of donkey work here, but it's certainly less than we would have done previously. Copy the names from contacts as if it was a text editor and paste them directly into the channels that we've created. You can do this very, very quickly. Select the top one violins, use the down arrow key on your keyboard, and then select two, three, four, and five. And we're doing those in ascending order. So everything's always in order. Now that we've done that, we can close it. Highlight those, make sure that we click apply track names just in case we've forgotten. And you can see the channels there are now assigned. Violas equals violas, violins one equals violins one. Let's have a look in the mixer and see what we've got. Okay, so all of those channels are all being created. Everything should work as you'd expect. Each instrument is playable separately. Once we've done that, we can highlight those and pack to a folder. There's some pre known folders ready for you. We've got strings for standard articulations and shorts for each of the winds and the brass, as well as the strings. We've got a percussion folder, hybrid percussion, trailer percussion, choirs, solo voices and solo instruments, as well as synth, transitions, sound effects and foley. 
as we're working with standard articulations, we'll pack these to strings folder on this drop down, select add bus channel, and then we'll give them a color. Check in the mixer, we can see that that's applied. And if we close the folder, it minimizes in the mixer as well as the arranger, and we have control of that within the mixer too. So that's a introduction to contact template system. The macro page will be in the description below, as well as the links to Lucas's website, and also the link to the Dropbox that contains the instrument presets that I've created for you. I hope this is useful to you, and hopefully it cuts down quite a lot of time in creating those templates. If you're a hobbyist, you'd want to be creating more music and having fun with it. But if you're somebody that's working in a more professional environment, let's face it, time is money. So on that note, have a good day, and I'll see you soon.